boy got this comment and I figured today I would just go over my entire Anki and show you the organization and why it takes up so much space because it takes up a lot. So let's do it. So what's up guys? Today, uh, this video is inspired by the question I got earlier. But before I begin, just wanted to introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Purak. I'm a medical student at Yale and I love all things medicine and productivity and business. So today, we're going to discuss how much storage I have on my Anki. The goal of this video is actually twofold. The first is to just discuss, you know, holy cow, how much storage is this thing taking up? Because I've been using Anki now for almost three to four years, uh, which includes both my personal cards and pre-made deck cards. So for those of you who are not medical students, you may not know, but for those of you who are, you know that Anki has a bunch of pre-made decks, which makes studying for a lot of our board exams easier. But the point of this video is to show you that although I've been using Anki pretty heavily with pre-made decks, I've also been using it outside of medicine, and I've also been making a bunch of cards on my own, and that's actually added to the reason my Anki takes up as much space as it does. So the first part of this video, I'm going to discuss how much storage my Anki takes up. And the second part, I'll actually now take you through my Anki and show you the different facets of organization and exactly why it takes up the amount of space that it takes up. So. With that being said, drum roll, uh, the amount of storage my Anki takes up is actually about 13 gigabytes, which is insane. I think many of you may be surprised by this number. I have about a 64 gigabyte uh, iPhone, which means about one fourth of it is taken up with Anki, which is absolutely crazy. So how is this actually broken up? Before I actually delve, delve into my Anki, I want to just show you a screenshot and show you how it's all broken up. So you'll see that Overall, I have about 190,000 cards in my Anki. Most of those cards are actually pre-made decks. So you'll see down here, 61% of my cards are pre-made decks. And why is that? Well, the reason is I downloaded a bunch of pre-made decks. And what I did was I then would take the cards from those pre-made decks and bring them into my own decks. So I have three big categories outside of pre-made decks where my cards sit. Uh, the first biggest category is actually just medical school. So what I'll do is in medical school, I not only made my own Anki cards, but I also made a bunch of pre-made cards that I would drag and drop into my personal med school deck. So 38.1% of my storage in Anki is actually my personal uh, medical school card. And then the rest is spread out between business school because I'm also an MBA. So I have business school cards as well as some cards that I have for personal learning. I have now started, you know, learning a lot of things outside of medicine, including classes on Coursera and also things like Masterclass. And I actually make Anki cards about those as well. And I've also started making Anki cards on some of the books I'm reading because I think it's interesting to remember big points from books. So now I want to jump into my Anki and walk you through some of these things and how I have them all organized just to kind of show you guys a glimpse of uh, what my Anki's been through. All right, so as you can see from this screen, I've stopped doing Anki cards because as you may know, I'm not in med school anymore, but I still have been making a bunch of Anki cards because as you may know, making flashcards can actually help you study. So right now I'm in my MBA school and that often means I often do classes related to my MBA and so I make Anki cards related to them. So for example, um, I actually have a lot of consulting stuff here. I have stuff I made regarding how to make a cover letter. Uh, I also have things broken up by quarter. So in my first quarter, you'll see that I actually have um, classes related to accounting, microeconomics, um, and uh, linear programming. And in my second quarter of business school, you'll see that I have question. Uh, I have classes related to marketing, investing, and also like macroeconomics. I also had wine club in. Um, business school and so I actually started making flashcards about wine club because I was like basically Anki you can use Anki for anything right and it's really frustrating when people are like I use Anki exclusively with pre-made decks because the philosophy of learning applies to everything and for me I'm actually very stupid I can't just learn things by just like sitting there and absorbing information almost inevitably I have to make flashcards or do some level of active uh, recall for me to learn something so you'll see that I I made flashcards related to consulting club I made flashcards related to wine uh, and that's a perfect transition actually and I got so excited talking about this uh, but I also have been recently making a bunch of flashcards to things I'm learning on my own outside of school so one of my biggest hobbies is learning for the sake of learning, and I have a lot of things that I've always wanted to learn. 
So one of the things I've been doing is taking classes on Coursera and Masterclass. So Coursera, more, most recently, I actually took a class on financial markets, and I'm also now taking a class on the science of well-being, which is sponsored by Yale. It's taught by Lori Santos, and it kind of tells you about how to live a happy life. So I've been taking both of those classes online just as a way to explore these things I'm interested in, but I have never gotten a chance to explore when I was in medical school. And so you'll see that I actually make flashcards related to both of those things. I, I also have been taking classes on Masterclass. Masterclass is the super bougie way to take classes from experts in the field. So right now I'm taking a class from Bob Iger about business strategy because he was the CEO of Disney. And I'm also taking a class on scientific thinking from Neil deGrasse Tyson. And when I take these classes, again, I take notes in Anki because the beauty of my Anki is it's going to be my database of knowledge. Like when I'm all old and shriveled, I can look at Anki and I wonder if this will even happen, but if it does, I'll definitely make a video and look at all the things I've learned because it's so great to have a database of everything I've ever gone, like gone over since I started medical school and just have it at my fingertips. And that's essentially what this Anki has done for me. So we've gone over the MBA part and we've also gone over the personal learning part, right? You'll see I also made a deck related to mental health. I literally make flashcards about anything and everything, which was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to make this video. It's not just pre-made decks, but the part that's probably the most relevant for all of you watching, given that you may have some interest in medicine, is probably to look at my medical school part. So now we can zoom in on medical school. And in my medical school decks, I have it broken down by preclinical, uh, clinical, and then I also have things related to step one in my sub eye. So you'll see here, clerkships are related to my clinical aspect. So when I was in the hospital, I was making flashcards related to things I was learning in the hospital. Haven is our free clinic. So you'll see that I also have flashcards related to a free clinic because I have things that I want to learn uh, that I learned in free clinic that I want to absorb. You'll see that I have stuff related to preclinical. You'll see I have stuff related to my sub eye, which is a rotation you do after your clinical year. And you'll see that I also have a deck related to my step two exam. Uh, I will give you a little bit of a highlight into each of these. So you'll see in my clerkships deck, I have every single rotation I did. So it includes anesthesia, emergency medicine, pediatrics, internal medicine, neurology, primary care, psychiatry, surgery. I have every rotation I did and all the cards I did related to clerkships that I also made on my own. Uh, within my step two deck, this may be overwhelming, but it has literally every sub subject within step two, which includes biostats, cards, everything. And then you'll see I also broke it down chronologically. So I was studying for step two way longer than I anticipated because of COVID-19. But you'll see that I broke down everything by week. So every week I was studying, every concept I learned, it's in here. Um, and last but not least, I do want to show you guys a bit of my preclinical. So for anyone who's new to medical school, medical school has usually two years of preclinical book learning, one year of clinical clerkship learning, and then you have step one and step two usually you take between those two. Uh, so you'll see in my preclinical, I have cards that I made on my own regarding every unit that we did in medical school. So we had anatomy, we had immunology, we had across the lifespan, which was kind of like OBGYN and pediatrics. We had homeostasis, which was nephrology, cardiology, and um, I think renal. Well, nephrology, cardiology, and what was the last one? Pulmonology. And then I, you'll see I also have my step one here, which again is broken down by weeks as well as um, practice exams, as well as subjects. So just to give you a hint into like the craziness that has been the last four years, I've learned so much. And the crazy part is one of the unifying themes has been Anki. Everything has come together on Anki and I could not be more grateful. So now hopefully you guys can see where those 14 gigabytes of storage come from. If you have any questions at all, drop them below. And I'm always more than happy to make videos about Anki. It's my love uh, and true passion. So. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.